Eastern Ukraine has woken up to airstrikes and shelling as the army resumes what it calls an anti-terrorist operation. The operation is focused on Slavyansk and Kramatorsk. Fighting is reported in and around the two cities, with smokes rising from industrial and residential areas. Anti-government forces claim they have managed to take down an army helicopter. We can't verify those claims and the army denies it's lost the craft. Rocket strikes are also reportedly being carried out by the army. That's in an area where a number of civilians have already been caught in the fighting. A residential area was hit in an earlier attack. At least nine people were injured, among them a four-year-old. Many are already fleeing their homes. And also there, an artillery shell lobbed into the roof of a school. There was a break between classes when it hit and no one was injured. Children and teachers from the school and a nearby kindergarten had to take cover in a basement. We ran with the first-year children. We heard a loud bang. We were very scared. Everyone was screaming. We didn't know where to run. My son was crying. He had a panic attack. It's awful that children are being put through this. How could they shell the city without making sure there were no children there? And on his correspondent, Paulus Lies, in the capital of the dissenting region, Donetsk, the city has been under siege by the army of several, for several days now. Over to Polina. A lot of concern here in the city of Donetsk, talking to residents. Many of them are very fearful that the military operation by the Kiev government will resume and resume with force. The streets, by and large, are a lot quieter than they usually are, and particularly in the late afternoon, when you usually expect to see the outdoor cafes and the parks full with people. Now they're practically empty. There have been pamphlets distributed in some neighborhoods outlining where are the closest bomb shelters and giving people instructions in terms of what to do if they go to the shelters. There has, as of yet, still been no official evacuation, but talking to people here in the city, many of them are keeping this as an option, saying that they are considering possibly going to the city's outskirts should the situation deteriorate. Now, there was a mad scramble at the supermarkets earlier in the week, particularly after Monday's massacre of some 100 people. People earlier in the week were stocking up with cereals, with tin food, with bottles of water. There is a curfew that was put in place for yesterday so from eight o'clock in the evening until six o'clock in the morning every day there is now a curfew in place and that is to try and stabilize the situation in the evenings certainly a lot of concern here in the city of Donetsk people are afraid Paula is there the center of events in eastern Ukraine you can go to her Twitter feed for the latest updates